Hello, uh, it's Martin here. Welcome to Strat Chat. And we're going to start a new run today. I'm not quite sure who I'm going to, to, to be, but we're going to head in 1066. We're going to go to kind of Bosnia, kind of Croatia, Croatia kind of uh, part of the world. And the hope really is that we are going to eventually be able to uh, create the, I think it's called create the Bosnian kingdom. We'll have a look at it as soon as we get in, um, in properly. But um, uh, in order to do that, I kind of need to have territory. I need to own all of the territory of, um, of, of, of Bosnia. And it includes these three duchies, Lower Bosnia, Upper Bosnia, and uh, Zaklumia. So uh, we want to start in one of, those, one of those, those places to make sure that, we, you know, that we've got access to the decision right from the beginning. Though obviously, it's going to be quite a while before we're able to, to, to do it. And the other uh, thing is that I want to start as a, 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 an insignificant uh, count, perhaps just with one county. I think it's going to be really, really difficult. In 1066, you have strong neighbours, you have strong realms, you have strong rulers around you. It's, it's going to be challenging to get the power to, to kind of expand and to, to be able to take on uh, very, very powerful people. I and mean, we have to accept we, we, might get, we might get taken over by Byzantine, for example. It's not my intention to get taken over by Byzantine, but we might get taken over by Byzantine. I can't ignore that as a possibility. If it happens, it happens. As long as I'm able to remain as, as, a, as, a, as a vassal to the Byzantine Emperor, we'll, we'll, ju we'll just carry on. We won't see that as a disaster. And, and of course, the other uh, thing is that we're going to be facing various diseases because, of course, um, Legends of the Dead is, has, uh, has come out. I'm hoping to get a character that I can get a uh, a, a legend relatively um, early on. I thought really, really carefully about this. I thought about take, uh, you know, sort of building my own character and trying to kind of get a like a really, really good, powerful um, character that could uh, make a really good, good start in the campaign. But I'm, I'm going to go for just picking the territory I want and. You know, we get who we're given and we get the situation that we're, we're given. It might be a good situation and it, it might not be a good situation. I don't know. So I think, well, so we know that we need to be in one of these areas. I'm thinking perhaps Zaclumia. But I don't think that I'm wanting to be uh, in this territory. I think I'm wanting to be in Croatia. So this, this chap here is going to be my liege is the way that I am thinking at the moment. And I can see a little count shield there. So, so this I like, right? So we've got mountainous. We've got a somewhat strong niche to give us a bit of protection. And we, therefore, if we take this on, we will be Count Dobroslav Dragimirich of, uh, I don't know how you say this, of Richery, whatever. Um, and um, apologies to anyone who's from that, that part of the world. Feel free to, to let me know with a little, little, a little audio clip if you can find a way of doing that. But here we are. This is, I think this is who we're going we're gonna to be. I mean, he's 48. He's not a young man. He has no player heir. And that's going to be in interesting. So we're going to have to crack on and kind of make some babies, I think. Let's, um, what is he? So he's gregarious, arrogant, and compassionate. Compassionate's a bit awkward. That's going to make it a little bit more difficult to us to, to yeah, look. I tell you what, he's he's Serbian. I think that works. If it doesn't, we might need to change our um, culture. Let's get started. Let's have a look. Let's have a look at this uh, situation. Right, I'm going to shrink my head in a moment. Um, I do have a son. I do have a player heir. What nonsense! Okay, I'm looking very youthful for 48. I've got a wife. Um, Okay, uh, not a particularly stunningly um, a good character to have as, as, as a wife for an ambitious uh, man in the prime of his life, but we do. Um, okay, so right, let's shrink my head so I can see, we, you can see probably what it is that I'm, I'm looking at. Okay, first thing, let's have a look at my, at my decisions. I can always convert to local culture, but I am able as a Serbian to found the Kingdom of Bosnia. So that's fine. So that we're, we're, we're relatively happy with our culture. So I'm going to look at the actual details of our so we're Slavic. So it might be that having founded the Kingdom of, of Bosnia, it might be that sort of like uniting the South Slavs or something like that. I think Elira suggested perhaps exactly that route. Uh, that might be perhaps a, a good way to go. 
So we've got martial men only. Um, uh, see, we've got the language here, the aesthetics, all those things. South Slavic heritage. These are the bits that we want to be looking at, really. Coney raids. I can recruit Coney men at arms. So I think a light cavalry, better than normal light cavalry, I assume. Um, oh, we have lower retreat losses, but you know, if you plan properly, you aren't going to be retreating very often. Friendly fatal casualties going down. That's really useful. Minus two to my advantage. That's not so good, is it? Light cavalry become a little bit better. Light cavalry screen better. Skirmish all these all these things. But siege weapon effectiveness goes down. Well, that's really bad. As I, I kind of value the things I'm losing with Coney raids more than I am valuing the things that I'm getting. Although the benefits are are benefits if if I end up having light cavalry. Stalwart Defenders is really, really good. Defensive war, peace acceptance. So just getting yourself out of a, a difficult um, defensive war more easily is brilliant. Prestige from winning defensive wars and gold from winning defensive wars. So I now almost kind of like want people to, um, to attack me. Okay, so significant extra party from constructing temple holdings. I mean, I'm not going to be doing that for a long time. I mean, I think, yeah, I mean, I'm going to be aiming to become a duke um, relatively early on. Um, money is going to be going into increasing the military. It's going to be going into, I'm probably going to need to have to go on some sort of a pilgrimage or whatever. Um, you know, I've got lots and lots of purposes for, for forming the dukedom. Lots of things I'm going to need money for. I doubt I'm going to be building temple holdings for a long time. But looking further ahead, if we stay in this in this tradition, that might be useful. And when we've got staunch traditionalists, stubborn is a is a good trait, and it becomes more common. We'll make it very very difficult to convert to local culture, and it's much much more difficult to hybridise. Okay, so it might be that we kind of feel that we're sort of stuck. Might be the wrong word, but we're kind of um, committed to this particular culture for a little bit longer than we might otherwise be. Chap here working on arch saddles. He's really going for it with like horsemen, really, isn't he? I think that's like the the, the thing that seems to be happening with our with our culture. Um, right, we're we're orthodox. We have we have a head of we've got communion and we have a head of the church, which means I can ask for gold. Obviously, I'm not going to get it at the moment. But the only reason I think I'm not going to get it is because I don't have enough. Piety. So I think one of the very, very first things I'm going to be doing is trying to get on the gravy train uh, of, of getting him to, uh, to, to to help us out with this. We are disastrously, but we're not a brilliant leader at all, are we, really? Um, but we are not going to go above four holdings for a very, very long time. So there's no rush, perhaps, to increase our uh, kind of, uh, our sort of stewardship. But there is a, there is a need for money. So it might be tempting to go for five five years or so into stewardship. What have we got in learning? Okay, so I'm I'm likely to have a good long life. This is really really good because this is helping us to to get the uh, the our, our the our equivalent of the pope on our side. <coughs> We're not going to be using religious um, relations for quite some time. All of this is, is valueless to us. Pedagogy would be nice, but I'm, I'm expecting to live quite a long time. I can't see any benefits to coming into this tree for the time being. I think if I go into stewardship, meritocracy would be really, really good. Golden obligations would be really, really good if I can find myself a good a spy master, and it is my domain to, for extort subjects' decision. I think this is where we're going to go. And I don't think that I'm necessarily going to have um, my current capital be my long-term capital because it's up in the mountains and I'm kind of hoping to be the, the king of Bosnia. So I might be able to kind of like pick and choose a little bit. So let's go for, and I don't need the extra stewardship right now, so let's go for wealth focus. Do you know what? I want to know how much is it going to give me, if anything. So I'm on 1.3 at the moment. Will it go to 1.4? Goes to 1.5. I'm actually quite pleased with that. Um, I'm definitely going to go and pay homage shortly. But the first thing I want to do is go and get a hunk of piety. Have I got enough money to go on a pilgrimage? That's my kind of uh, 
that's my the first thing that I want to look let me look at my county because I only got the one okay so it's a really really good county it's got four holdings they've already been built simple earthworks I'm a little bit disappointed that I've a highly developed simple earthworks I could have done with a, a commercial one I dare say at some point we're going to need hospices. It might be that we, we put... The, oh, it only works in the holding. Yeah. Yuck. Okay. Um, okay, what's the best thing for money? I mean, cattle pastures, perhaps quarries. I'm not sure longer term. These are much, much cheaper. I'm assuming that this gives you more longer, longer term. It's 1.3. Right, now it gives you some other benefits. Um, yeah, so why? Okay, okay, cattle pastures gives you development growth. Do um, does the quarries give you that? Men at arms maintenance down two percent. You had some development co growth, building construction, garrison size. We got um, station spear heavy infantry. I think I'm going to be going quarries eventually, rather than um, anything, any, you know, the, the other sort of economic alternatives. Well, I'm not. I'm not going to lie. I'm a little bit disappointed with what's already built, but there's no point in getting rid of it. But it's not providing any money. I kind of need an economic one at, at some at some point. Okay, right. Can we go to Rome or similar? Let's have a look at that. Right, so I want a very, very inexpensive initial thing. So that's going to cost an extra 30. It's going to cost an extra 20. That's decided that. There's a lot of dangers en route, and I'm assuming it's because of the sea. Okay, hire a mountaineer. That's making it much, much less expensive. Have I got a decent chat for this? Okay, so she'll be good. Or should be okay. Okay, so we've now got no high danger locations, a couple of medium, a couple of low. I don't want to spend any more than that. Can I spend less? No. Or I could spend less here. This will actually give me more piety. I don't need more piety. I'd save 10 gold though. Right. What I'm worried about altruism is being asked for money. Okay, let's go for zealotry. I'm a little bit anxious about this, but I think I've got to take a little bit of a bit of a chance. Okay, my heir is unmarried. Let's, um, can I divorce my wife? Okay, I know I want more piety, but I think I'm going to divorce her and see if I can get somebody else. In terms of children, I've got a daughter who is unmarried, a son who is unmarried, and a daughter who's only 15. Let me see. If I can use my son to get me a majestic spy master, unless I've already got one, I, I really don't. Okay, this looks like a this looks like a reasonable match. Um, but I have got some choices here. I mean, am I being silly? I mean, he is my player heir. She's an evil lackey. I mean, what could go wrong? Right. This is better. That's slightly less scary. Medium chance for a child. He'll lose a bit of pres uh, prestige, but it's not me losing it. So we've got ourselves a half respectable spy master. Also need a really, really good marshal. What about my daughter? Okay. So I, he's not quite as good, but I like that he's a genius because it's not. If something happens to my son. She becomes the heir apparent, and her children could potentially carry Gizelbert's genius uh, trait. And we've got two of them here. Both of them are the same. He's a slightly stronger character, but he doesn't like me very much. I'll tell you what, I'm kind of interested. Is one of them good as... This is nice. That is not. Okay, so daughter number one has got me hopefully a reasonably good... Marshall. Let's have a look at other ladies. Nothing amazing. I'm a little bit tempted because okay, I can create an accolade. Okay, right. What 
let's think about what kind of an accolade we want. What do we have? Bowman, Lightfootman. Okay, I think let's wait till we get the um, the marriages, the uh, uh, first marriages in before we start thinking about accoladed knights. Right, we're off. This is going to be dangerous, but it's not very far. Excellent. Right, I'm divorced. Passing through the county of Satina, we take the opportunity to visit the Church of Solan, a creation centre of Catholic authority and worship. So I can join in prayer, and I become my journey pilgrimage becomes more pious. That doesn't feel like a terrible idea. I can gain some prestige, and King Cresimir will like me less. I mean, that, that feels like the best one. Hearing several thuds and angry screams coming from outside, I hasten out from below deck and find Miroslav and Bajana in a tense argument. Okay, so can I calm them down? Courtier, a wandering person who I don't particularly need. Wow, it's quite a big loss here. So let's just hope for the best. Right, okay, I got, I got a, a, a good result. Right, I need to start thinking about my wife. Who is going to be my wife? Find spouse. This guy's only 17, talented, but I don't really want somebody who's going to give me children. Do I? No, I don't. Um, more boys might complicate things. Let's look at infertile. So I've got a bit of security. I've got a son who will inherit everything, however big I become. If something happens to him, I have daughters in reserve. I mean, how old am I? 48. So you lady, that is not inappropriate for me. I, I quite like this combination that she is reasonably good at pr intrigue and reasonably good. I mean, not brilliant, but some okay at um, at stewardship. She'd add four, you know, probably make the difference of giving me an extra domain at some point in the in the future. Right? Do I like her? She's a theologian. She's very very good. If I ever become the leader of my of my culture, would you marry someone? who you knew was sadistic and paranoid. Okay, this looks slightly better on the ones that I'm interested in. Ida, she's wandering, but she's lustful, not a bad thing, deceitful, and gregarious. She's, I think she's better than, than the other lady. So we won't have children. Effect on me is to lose 200 legitimacy. Let's sort by alliance power. Because these people are actually... Wouldn't lose me legitimacy, presumably. Like, let's just test that out. So if I go with this lady, um, I actually gain 600 prestige. It's an awful lot of prestige. Um, but I wouldn't lose legitimacy as I do marrying a landless, wandering woman. She would be good on stewardship, but not much else. She's actually my age almost exactly. She's a little bit younger than me. Um, she is humble, a bit lazy, uh, but stubborn. I mean, do you know what? I think this might be the best of best of all of, of all available. We get ourselves some a small alliance. Oh, it's a long way away. <laughs> I think she'll make a good wife. Well, let's marry her. Right, we're going to make it across the sea safely. Okay, I've got this alliance that's formed. That's good. Okay. I can ask my head of faith for gold. Oh, so super. Okay, so that's going to be five years until I get that again, but that's all good news, all good news. So there's a 1% chance I gain the flexible truces perk. I might increase my diplomacy and then everything, um, I might make, get some diplomacy, there's almost a 50% chance of negative results. 45% chance of lessons and learnings. This is nice, building construction costs down. For 15 years, I doubt I'll be building anything in the next 15 years, so this isn't that valuable to me, which means there's this 50 percent chance of a bad result, basically. Okay, let's just let's just press on. Okay, so we're here. So we've become a pilgrim. We're actually at level one, and I think my marriage should, yeah, won't take anything away from my legitimacy. I think that was wise, actually. I'm so tempted to marry a good wife who was landless, but I, I did the right thing. Right, a pilgrim's guide. Let's have a look here. So this is going to increase my diplomacy by one and my piety by 0.2 a month. Make me a little bit um, uh, stressed, but it will increase travel safety. Okay, I'm quite tempted. Or my pilgrimage can become more pious. 
I'm going to be doing a little bit of journeying. I think we'll 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 take this. Okay, that's my. Yeah. Okay. So my liege has seems to have the land round here. Okay, this might be a man I can attack. Yeah. Let's look at the different duchies. Okay, so I want Upper Bosnia. So I think what I've got to do is attack this chap here. He's not very strong. Obviously, I need a claim. I mean, is it worth having a quick look? Yeah, no, I don't have a claim on that. I don't think I have any claims, actually. I should have done this right from the beginning, so I've wasted... I mean, I've wasted two months. It's I've wasted one month. It's not the end of the world. Fabricate claim on Rama. He's awful. I mean, he is terrible. It's going to be really expensive to get this claim. I'm not going to be able to improve my military. I think these are the ones we'll station. They're the they're the, the killers. Right, gain this is really, really useful actually. So I'm gaining some a lot of prestige. Um, the seats of the bishops, characters have been on pilgrimage while following the ecclesiacry tenet, clergy opinion plus ten. They're really, really useful. So I'm really gonna get the train moving with the money from the equivalent of the Pope and some additional um, a legitimacy which is absolutely super so we're going to begin our journey home let's just have a little look yeah we're kind of heading off away from number one towards number two which is which is super and we got a pilgrim's guide which I think makes us safer and doesn't make us safer no. right the regency's ended right let's just have a little think about what our guys are doing so we're happy with him on here we're happy on her putting on defense at the moment train commanders we definitely want him on foreign affairs, I think. I seem to be reasonably popular. Let's have a little look at my queen. So she's um, she's a very ordinary, really. She's not specially good. But she does increase my holdings to five if I switch to managed domain, which is something that I might well do later on. The other thing is, why am I not on my lieges council? Right. Okay, next thing we're going to do is we're going to go and pay homage. Oh, I can't at the moment. He's in an army. Okay, so it looks like my liege is a war. He is indeed, as indeed am I. Right, he's an, it's an aggressive war. It's an aggressive war. Why on earth is he engaged in a war all that way off? Literally ludicrous. Okay, good for him. Let's, um, let's press go. Let's just make some progress. Just want this war to end so I can go and pay homage. See if I can get something out of my liege. Also, just make, make him like me a little bit more. I've got no immediate plans to um, undo um, that relationship. Okay, so let's think about accolades then. What, are we, what do we want for an, an accolade? Longer term, besieger would not be terrible. I don't have any siege engines at the moment. Right, I think we're gonna have a look at um, getting somebody to help us out with um, our archers. So let's have a look, see what we've actually got available now. We have got Besieger, and I mean, I have to say, I don't think Besieger is a terrible way for us to go. Right, let's see if we can find somebody to do, get, get, get some useful marriages. So Bajana is uh, not married. Just checking none of these people are like my mum or something silly like that. Okay, let's start with Forest Fighter, see if there is someone. No, there's no one available. Hastaluda. Okay, there are two. He doesn't have bow. Doesn't have bow. Right, we're not going to find anybody, unfortunately, that can help us with that. In that case, I think I'm going to go for the siege engine one. Simply on the grounds that I, I can do it inexpensively. It will at some point be useful to me. Yeah, besieger, create accolade. We need to hunt for a successor. So we've got an accolade, which in time is going to be really useful to us. How old is my daughter? Is she anywhere near marriageable age? No. Okay, well, she's not there yet, but she won't be long way away in August. Oh, just a few days. Okay, right, good. Well, that's good news. Here she is married. So let's see if I can find somebody for her to marry. I kind of want her in my court. Nice to see that sort of thing. He's a Hastaluda, but yeah, foot. It's an honourable man. Youthful. It's 
bring him into court and we'll get ourselves a decent steward. Watching the money here, goes up to 1.7, excellent. So he's better than most of my, my knights. I really do have a poor selection. Okay, let's, let's get him in as the successor. Oh, hang on, I've got a better marshal than this. This is why her. Uh, right, I also, also should be uh, trying to get these people on my side. I tell you what, let's start with her. Right, we're already in 868s. I think it might be that we can start looking for some secrets. No, let's just wait a little bit longer. Right, my wife is Franconian or Catholic. A 40% chance of a little bit of stress. Uh, prestige isn't going to matter too much yet, though it will do later. Um, I think we'll go with this. There's a good chance that she'll like me a little bit more, which is what we're aiming for at the moment. Ah, he's bestowed royal favour on me. That's increased my monthly prestige. Thank you. Oh, okay, so this one, I always feel really mean about this. Because the, the sensible one to do isn't really good. I mean, she's a character. Got some very strong stats. The county will have upset peasants for five years. Right. Spend some prestige. Get unset peasants. Um, she'll like me. Right, it's pretty good getting somebody who likes you this much. Hopefully we can have her as a court physician. Oh, she's going to be really good, especially when the plague starts arriving. This is plague, isn't it? Right, it's on the way. Okay, so this is going to cost us a lot, isn't it? See it done. Okay. So I now have it. Claim on Rama. In an ideal world, I would have a better army. Let's just have a look, though, if I'm likely to win. Their military strength is inferior to ours. They've got 100 armed footmen. Right, I think we need to build up our military a little bit better. Right, and the only way we're going to do that is if we have some secrets and some hooks. So let's let's do it. Right, we, we kind of want the guy to start working on the next county, but no, let's... Which will be this one, I think. Yeah, but we, the money is the constraint at the moment, isn't it? When can I try and get money from my Pope? I'm not going to... shouldn't call him a Pope. My Patriarch. 869, November 869. So I only really have a year to go. And I can have some more money from him. We won't be that long until we, until we we get. Um, oh right, I need to look at children. Uh, until we get golden obligations, she's working on some secrets. So we, you know, it's it's all coming. Right, let's just look at the things. Right, so he's now had a child. Right, okay. I'm going to be chancellor. Okay, well look, chancellor's better than nothing. Right, this boy potentially is the heir one generation on. Um, I need to be educating him. So these ones, court musician becomes really, really important for uh, legends later on, as of course does chronicler, wet nurse. Do not fulfill the requirements. Okay, I must need, yeah, okay. What about my oldest daughter's child? She hasn't got any children yet. What about my second child? Well, she's only just got married, hasn't she? I now have an 80% chance, so I should be should be able to sway her. I think work on your wife first. I think that's 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 good advice. Okay, so I'm getting some benefits with my uh, knights becoming better. I like that uh, he's a different faith to me. My because um, I'm I'm this orthodoxy Christiani faith. No, I'm not. Sorry, that's the faith of my my people. I am orthodox. Do you know why? Why this? Um, why this chap's not doing anything? Let's convert. Is she going to have some money soon? Oh, what have we got here? All right, he's a man with money. Eighty percent blackmail chance. Got him. Right, we're going to have fifty off him. I think he's a duke. We should get fifty off him. Ah, oh, we got the additional taxes due to our steward's excellent stewardship skill. Right, we can go to war. First thing we've got to do is we've got to build up our military. So we're going we're gonna to build them up. Right, so he has heavy infantry. So let's, 
let's let's do that and then let's get ourselves some mangonels unfortunately I can't station all this stuff money's gone but we got still got more money coming resistance conversion fine Ooh. okay how much am I gonna get 100 okay that's that's good that's good okay command commander promoted this is my marshal this is Sanko oh he's he'll be good commander and he will be a good knight bold paragon let's get him in he'll be good alternative commander to the one that we've got right we'll use the money wisely let's wait for our army to get back up to full strength in a few months right she's swayed which is always good news golden obligations don't you just love it just absolutely love it 50 from you and the, the money is going to start hopefully starts coming in right look at this look at this this is actually worrying it's quite close to me and I'm about to take territory that's even closer right we're at full strength let's go for this war before we get hit by this awful thing declare war my claim Rama get him busy taking um, oh that's interesting okay so we're, we're going for the county of Bosna and Shebronitsa fabricate claim on Shebronitsa so that's going to cost me 105 again I suspect uh, let's raise our army I mean, the idea would be that I'm not going to cross a river. So let's move it to here. Right, let's raise them all. We've got our lovely 23 commander. Okay, she's not found anything else, which is a shame. Um, do you know what? It's just a matter of time until there's more secrets there. So let's go for it. Right, he's running away. I might just chase him. Right, is Count Petar powerful? No. But he does have a claim. One of my counties. This is because I have a useless chancellor. I'm sure I got somebody better for this. Right. Let's sack him. Let's have a little look and see if I can find a better chance, like a proper chancellor. Not much better. Okay. All right. Tis what it is. Now, a nice little victory, hopefully. Puts us on 25% and we're going to take this castle. Yeah, we did well. We, we, we had, they had twice as many casualties as us. So I'm waiting to take this. What I really want is this. is, is Donji Kraji, which is uh, belongs to the same guy. Obviously, it's going to take a while. And this one here, uh, Srebrenica and uh, Vrozhna. There's two castles there. I think I need to get those off him. And then I can form this duchy. Right, the queen is beginning to quite like me. Well, I'm not going to lie, it's good news. Well, this is going to give me some legitimacy. I'm going to city and a county. So it's in force demands. Right, so have a little look at legitimacy then. Right, so I'm well on my way to level two, which I think is still probably relatively low. I've got another place that I can station men at arms. But the control level is going to be really, really low. So it's always a pain taking him off improving the army, but I think we need that that kind of money. Let's have a look at Visoki, my new county. Potential. Oh, this is really useful. I've already got Pilgrim's Quarters, which is a hospice uh, in the hospice uh, line of buildings. Unfortunately, I think it only helps the holding, but it does give plague resistance to the whole county. Realistically, that's what I want here, isn't it? One of these to have some sort of a pilgrim's hospice. Okay. Now, I actually have a not inconsequential amount of money. The problem I've got is that's going to cost me like 110. I never thought I would say this, but I really hope the uh, my religious leader dies. Mm. So it's going to stress me every time I try to blackmail somebody. Does exposing it get rid of it? No. 
Oh, uh, this is the fourth one. Okay, right. So we got Pest, Donji Kraji, Rama, and Vrobrojna. We're working our way towards getting our second, but we'll need three before we can we can form the duchy. Okay, I think we're going to have to find somewhere else to look for secrets. Here's a man with dukes and things, so let's uh, put our fingers crossed that we get get some secrets there. How can I get rid of? Okay, somebody who knows. What can I do to get rid of stress? So compassionate is going to increase the amount of stress I get every time. Every time I basically get a hook on someone. I was planning doing lots of journeys to go and meet my liege. I'd literally, he's been in prison the whole time. Oh. Because this is going to lose me a little bit of prestige and he will not like me. I mean, I could easily just go somewhere else. This way I don't lose. Yeah, so he's, yeah. He will still lose 15 opinion of me. Okay, so she's on at virtually 100. So let's, let's stick with that. Just cannot believe what a terrible chancellor I've got. Oh. Let's get him in. Okay, that means he likes me much, much more. I think we do need to work a little bit on our spy master, or though she is fond of us. It's nice being here. I'm getting a lot of prestige from it, which is really helping me actually, because I, I could do with one and a half thousand prestige in order to claim my vast my liege's uh, titles later on. Oh, hang on, we've got we've got things being built. Pilgrim's course is interesting. Hill fort for spearmen. And that's what I have stationed there. Well, that's that's good, I suppose. I'm not likely to be a very good hunter. But I'm making some, well, you know, I've got some, <laughs> some progress on pilgrim and traveller. Okay, so I have it. See it done, 105. Right. I kind of want him to be working on these, but um, this boy is really weak. I think we're going to be able to take him effortlessly. Don't need to increase the size of our military at the moment. He's got two castles. Right, nice battle. Okay, so I've not thought this through carefully enough. I haven't got enough soldiers. 937. Okay, I've not thought this through. I thought I thought this through very, very well, but I haven't. Right, I can take the other castle. Right, we've got pop. We got we got we got trouble. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's all along the coast, but it's very, very close to us. Which one have we got? Serbian pox. Okay, no one's dead yet. Catastrophic health penalty, severe health penalty. I might be calling your ally. Let's call him my ally. I really need some money, and if I get some money, I can build a bigger army and come and take uh, take this. But I can for now, I can take Shebrenica. I really, really am annoyed with myself for not being a little bit more careful. Okay, someone's declared war on my liege. If I call him a traitor. I'm then in the war. So this deposes the king. It's not at all clear who's going to win this. Okay, I'm happy for him just to be to just to say he's a traitor. Got my own wars I'm fighting. Right, should be lots and lots of juicy duke um, shenanigans going on in the Holy Roman Empire. Right, this is this is the army that we're fighting. These this is the war against my liege. I'm hoping to stay out of it. Okay, so I've got four gold from that. Right, where, where's these points coming from? 48 from castles. Ah, oh, this won't be enough. Even if I get to 50%, it won't be enough. Okay, 98. But it's not going to go up. And my allies are on the way. Okay. Let's go back home. Get some more supplies. I am going to take it, I think, just in case, because there is a there is a route to him becoming my successor. Okay, right, come and join me. Okay, right, finally. It's going to take nine months, and then we win this war. Stewardship, right, it's not my domain. 
Gives me access to a little bit more money. Okay, I don't have any vassals. Oh, here's a man with money and a secret. My favourite. 80%. Right, I am stressed though. Okay. I don't want to be giving money to charity. Become a drunkard. I'm not bothered about the prowess penalty. Tiny health penalty isn't too bad. Stress loss is quite good. Travel safety goes down. Opinion of drunk characters goes up. It's not that many disadvantages to this. Let's make myself a drunkard for 10 years. Right, we do have a problem. This will fall in three months. This will fall in before. Okay, so we'll win before he captures Shebrenitsa. I keep saying because I know roughly how to say it. Legitimacy increased. Getting two baronies. Right, I now need this. Can I declare a war on him? No. Small men at arms that can be stationed. Won't make a huge difference, but that's good news. Okay, so I'm well on my way to becoming a, a duke. Uh, I'll need to take Perset off um, of this chap. It will take a, a few years. In fact, it will take three years. And I will have a claim on it. Um, he's... Uh, oh, it's actually, oh, no, 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 no. That's no good. So as it's going to take three years, I'll go for Donny this one. Uh, Doni Kraji. Right, let me change this. Yeah. So 19 months. So we can do it much, much more quickly. Well, that's great, Nespa, probably because it's adjacent. So in two years, I'll be able to have a claim on this. I might not be able to attack him. True to the last two years. It's exactly right. It's coming together just perfectly. So I need advice. So how do I maintain? How do I keep? So I want to use the. Um, the obligation, golden obligations, um, hooks to to get lots of uh, to get the gravy train coming in. But because he's compassionate, it upsets him. What can I do to reduce that upset? That's what I need to I need to know. I'm just gonna have a quick look at my um, heirs. So he's he's pitiful. Um, his son, you know, is is coming along a little bit better. Um, he's pensive. So we could make him a good steward. Let's 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 have that as his focus. And the other route is that this lady, who's also pitiful, not her. And these are my parents. Okay. So I kind of want my children. So this lady here doesn't have children, but she's the oldest. She would be my primary, and she doesn't have children. But I, I feel reasonably confident that in two years' time we can take Donny Kraji. At that point, we'll be able to form the duchy, and then we can start thinking about our kind of like next kind of like goal in terms of what we're kind of like moving towards next. And um, yeah, I mean, it's I, I'm quite pleased. It's always much more difficult to make quick progress in 1066 as a small a small realm, but um, gradually you're able to kind of like you know snowball effect to kind of like kind of like pick up pick up weight. It's about putting on weight, getting a decent sized army. Uh, getting decent economy behind you. I mean, I've done nothing to get the economy behind me except, I suppose, try to get better control in Rama, and then I'm going to have to do the same thing in Vrishbrosna, then I'm going to have to do it in Doni Raj, then I'm going to want to take over Perset, and then I'm going to want to usurp the kingdom, aren't I? I've got to be a little bit careful. If I usurp the kingdom, do I lose found kingdom of Bosnia? Uh, because this is what I want to do. Give me a, a heroic legend seed, which would be really good. I need to be an independent ruler. I need to have the title of Upper Bosnia, Lower Bosnia and Zaklumia, and also completely control all of that territory. Seven countries of the early medieval era, we've already done that. And then it's a relatively modest amount of prestige and 300 gold. Um, I'll get the seed. Uh, the Kingdom of Bosnia becomes de jure of Upper Bosnia. Lower Bosnia and Sakulia. Okay, so what happens to the current um, kingdom of Croatia? Right, is there another way that I can get a seed? I mean, we are a long way away from the next legacy. Yeah, we need to find ways, I think, to be 
uh, building up this legacy a bit quicker because if you look at the legacy uh, tree, we've got this new one. Heroes of old gains a great deed for Duke Clagin Legends seed. This legend seed is usable only once per dynasty, can be used by any member. So we could get one if we can get to if we can get to 250 renown, we can have heroes of, of, of old. And do we want to be going up this tree? Yeah, the ancestral claim Cassus Belle on any claims gained through a legitimizing legend. So that would so if we made this a legitimizing legend, we would be able to so if we've got heroes of old, we choose try to find one that's a legitimizing one rather than a holy or heroic one and we'd be able to perhaps grant access to some very very inexpensive claims and become a saint i mean i think that's only if you do a holy one though isn't it surely legend creation costs go down so you get the living legend trait upon completion of a her mythical or heroic legend but you'd have to create a mythical one i mean that would be quite a big thing to be to be doing but this unlocks a legendary building. Yeah, I want a legendary uh, watchtower. I can see myself wanting that. I like the legitimacy route, though. Control, control growth from popular opinion. Yeah, not massive, but it's you know, something. Each air starts with lasting line modifier. Immediate 10% uh, increase to legitimacy. Hmm. Okay. I certainly think because these things are new out, these are what we should be exploring. One of these two, and uh, and I, I like the legitimacy one. The heroic one is interesting. If we're going to go for like the you know really go for the legend, lean into the legendary stuff. Okay, this going this is going out Tuesday, isn't it? It's Tuesday now. So um, the next one will be on Friday, and I'm I'm going to be going full blast for forming the duchy. I just need to check it hasn't been formed. Actually, I should have checked that. Yeah, it's not formed. So I need to keep in mind having 250 gold available. Bearing in mind it's going to cost me at least 105 to get this. Uh, but we're going to be going full, yeah, full throttle to become a duke in the meantime. I just hope everybody can uh, take care of themselves and everyone's happy and enjoying life. Um, I will be back on Tuesday. I'll see you then. Bye-bye.